I moved here to Houston about six months ago to take over the creative director position at Mortar. Um, what we want to do is give men here in Houston an outlet to buy a little bit more fashion forward things uh, from designers that we found around the world to be you know, exciting, trying to push trends and uh, still be wearable. Um, we do everything from suiting, which is kind of what I'm wearing here. Uh, this is a good uh, suiting line from Toronto called Kin, who's a friend of mine, um, to uh, basic uh, button downs and khakis, uh, to sneakers, to um, uh, you know, sporty wear, hoodies, Hawaiian shirts. Um, uh, we, we, we feature designers from all over, from Sweden to uh, Japan, uh, US. Just as long as the clothes are made with integrity, uh, we like to bring them in. Uh, so come check us out. We're on 1911 Westheimer, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. And my friend Aaron here is going to explain to us the different fit points of a good wedding suit. First off, you're going to need your classic two button suit so you can keep it a long time and don't transcend any fashion trends. You're going to want to make sure that your shoulders fit in the suit, most importantly. No extra fabric on the shoulders. Your waist is slightly tapered. Um, and make sure there's no box cut or anything like that. Um, as we travel down to the sleeves, um, you're going to want about an inch or so of your cuff or your shirt hanging out. That way you can display any uh, cufflinks you have or anything of that nature, along with your, the base of your shirt coming back to the base of your thumb. Moving on down to the legs, these are unhemmed pants, but traditionally you're going to want no break in the pants, which means that they're hover right about the top of your shoes. Um, traditionally you will have dress shoes on, they'll be maybe a little lower than any of these sneakers. The suit traditionally will have an 8 drop, which means if you're wearing a 40 suit, you'll have a 32 inch waist. Um, if you're a little different build than most men, you can compensate with this by hemming or letting in or, in or out the waist. We're talking about classic, it's best to have like a navy or a charcoal. A lot of people make the mistake of buying black suits for weddings. That's kind of what the groomsmen are probably going to be wearing. So you can't ever go wrong with a good name here in charcoal. That about wraps it up.